How you doing guys? I wanted to make a little video about a little historic site here in the town I live in, which is Georgetown, Ohio. And um, this is the house and a little lot that Ulysses S. Grant lived in when he was a boy. And uh, it's a pretty cool place. I haven't been inside of it yet, but uh, it's not open very often, so I'm going to have to get down here and get get a uh, tour of the inside of this house. But uh, this thing is still standing. It's been here for many, 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 many years. Um, This was uh, another person that lived on this site, uh, Thomas Lyon Hammer. Uh, he lived between 1800 and 1846. He was a teacher, a lawyer, a congressman, and a soldier. Another cool marker. There's a little creek that runs down through there, and I'm uh, not sure if that little uh, brick shed is part of the original um, original Grant uh, building, but uh, it's there nevertheless. A little uh, kind of a rectangular gazebo, which is kind of cool. Um, This house still got the original brick. Of course, it's got a, a newer design roof, and uh, they've tried to make the uh, the gutter system look original. But I believe back in those days, it would have been either a tin uh, gutter system or it would have been copper. But uh, of course, there's been an addition put on the back of it. But uh, it's still a pretty cool old building. Um, they have a little, uh, and here's the, here's the original, or not original, but a, a historical marker that they installed here. The Ohio, Sesor, or, uh, Ohio Historical Society placed us here. And, uh, This is the front of it. Let's see if I can get a better, better shot of it. There we go, guys. Of course, I don't think that's the original door, but uh, that door's been on that building for quite a few years now it's just a really cool place I mean it's simple square uh, but quite cool and uh, they've installed some uh, some brick sidewalk which you know is a new thing but you know I would imagine that they probably didn't have any kind of sidewalk back then. Here's the other side of the building. It's just a really cool place. I like historical stuff. Uh, the roof on it now is... Uh, let me see if I can show it to you. They tried to master the old uh, way of shingling. They put a, a uh, wooden shingle type roof, but I think it's enhanced with tar or something. Something to make it last a little longer. And, 
uh, here's the original cellar to the place. It's pretty cool. Oh, I see. It's open. Actually, 12 to 5 o'clock, Wednesday through Sunday, uh, May through October. But they're actually charging to get in here. Five bucks for adults, children for three dollars. I guess it would be okay. Entertainment doesn't look like I'm gonna do it though. Uh, I just have a thing about paying to get in places. I don't like cover charges. What I call a cover charge. And, uh, I guess it does go towards preserving the building. But here's a light gutter system they installed. Anyway, this is part of my town. Uh, Everybody knows that's from around here and you know the local area, Brown County, Claremont County, Ohio, knows about this place. So, oh, I wanted to also point you down the street. They said that they owned quite a bit of land down there on the right hand side, and that's where they're on the right hand side of the road there where that tin barn is now. It used to be their horse stables and uh, I've heard they used to own all this land down through here just before any houses or anything so just a cool place man all right guys just a little history on my town <laughs>